One of our first examples of advanced planning with relation to cemetery and burial comes in the Gospels with the death and resurrection of Christ. It was Joseph of Arimathea who had planned for his family in advance. He had purchased a property and carved out a cave. And after Christ's death, he went to Pontius Pilate and he asked for the body of Christ because he had a place that he had planned for his family and uh, was given the opportunity to take Christ and bury him in his family's tomb. Uh, today we plan for all kinds of events. We plan for birthday celebrations, anniversaries. The issue with regards to cemetery and burial is just a topic that people want to avoid. They don't like dealing with it. They don't like talking about their mortality. Advanced planning is uh, planning for your family. It's a gift to your family, for your children, for your spouse, for your loved ones. None of us really want to fail our families. But if we do nothing about the inevitable, and that's dying, we're failing our families. We're leaving them the emotional burden of making arrangements for our death. We're leaving them the financial burden of covering the costs. When you plan in advance, you remove all the lingering doubts of what it is that you wanted. Your children or your other family members don't have to do the guesswork of, well, I wonder what dad would have wanted. I wonder what mom would have wanted. It allows you to make decisions while you're thinking in a logical state of mind, as opposed to leaving those decisions for a family member or a loved one to make during an emotional state of mind. Catholics who use a Catholic cemetery um, have the opportunity to have a spiritual connection because of the way the Catholic cemeteries are set up with the, um, with the saints and the statuary. The counselors that are trained in the liturgical aspects of burial. The Catholic cemeteries are, are available for families and they have the direct connection with the parish. The Catholics were baptized through the church, confirmed in the church. They were married through the church. So it's only logical that they use a Catholic cemetery for their burial options. The Diocese of Orange own and operates, owns and operates four different Catholic cemeteries. Right on Christ Cathedral campus, we have Cathedral Memorial Gardens overlooking the beautiful Christ Cathedral. Our uh, cemetery in Huntington Beach is the Good Shepherd Cemetery. It's about a mile and a half down from the coastline. It serves all of our South Coast uh, families in Huntington Beach, Newport Beach area, Costa Mesa. We have uh, Lake Forest, which is Ascension Cemetery. Lake Forest is more of a community-oriented cemetery. It's built right within the community. And then our flagship is Holy Sepulchre Cemetery. It's the oldest cemetery that we have. It's our largest cemetery. And the uniqueness of Holy Sepulchre is a brand new mausoleum that has been put there with also a uh, cremation uh, Gethsemane building, which houses our cremated remains and overlook the beautiful canyon. Our advanced planning program is twofold. It's the cemetery property, and it's the Catholic funeral plan. The Catholic funeral plan um, is a product that helps people take care of their services arrangements. And by doing so, we document all your decisions in a file. They're kept in a national database uh, that is managed through the Diocese of Pittsburgh. It's a national organization. You choose the funeral home, but you document what your wishes are, the type of casket, the type of service, the readings that you want at the funeral mass, the songs that you want sung. You could even record who it is that you would like to give your mass. The first step to take in advanced planning is to make contact with us through our website, occem.org. There is no obligation for one of our counselors to come see you. We'll meet you in your home. We'll meet you out at the cemetery. We'll meet you at a Starbucks and just talk about it and have a conversation. Advanced planning is not a new concept. Uh, Joseph of Arimathea purchased his tomb and had it not been for him having done advanced planning for his family, the Easter story as, as we know it today may have a different look to it.